What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. We're we'll focusing on uh, charges against Mike Ribeiro that he assaulted his um, nanny in Texas. It looks like it's a civil suit from, um, you know, what's what's going on there. Uh, you know, it's... Ribeiro has always had a dark cloud following him around. He's never really been the most likable guy on, the, on any team he's ever been on. Always had an issue diving and always had controversy off the ice. And, you know, looked like he fell into a good situation in Nashville. And, you know, maybe these are baseless charges. But, I mean, it's like, really, this is this is nothing new for teams that have had to deal with this guy. Um, and, you know, I enjoy Barrow as a player. I think his creativity is amazing. But, you know, I just think there's a fine line between you know, tolerating it and doing what's best for, you know, your your team. And, uh, you know, I just think in this circumstance, you, you look at in Arizona, he was a big signing for the Coyotes. You know, they are not they don't usually spend a lot of money in free agency, and they went out and signed him, and they're devoid of offense. Um, and then, they, they, you know, they bought him out and, you know, lost him for nothing because they didn't want to deal with his bullshit anymore. And, again, he's come up aces time and time again for this Nashville Predators team all season, even though Nashville is kind of struggling. That's a separate piece entirely. But... You know, I, I'm not going to get too deep into the charges against them. I mean, you know, they're online. But I just, you, you kind of feel that she was going to drop with him at some point. Just like it was too good to be true. A one-year, $1 million deal, and he's putting up these great offensive numbers. You know, Philip Forsberg's a big reason why that kid is amazing. But, you know, it's like, Jesus Christ, just think for me one time, Mike. And, uh, you know, I just think that... A leopard doesn't change his spots, and maybe these are baseless charges. Maybe this is completely concocted by someone out to get money, um, but I just think, in retrospect, um, you know, you, you talk about what Don Maloney said about his behavioral issues in in Phoenix. Uh, that's, you know, the, you know, what we're seeing here. And was there a direct correlation between? I don't know. You know, and it looked like, you know, him and his wife were on the same page, you know, trying to, to, you know, wanting to get back into a normal, you know, happy lifestyle with, um, you know, moving to Nashville. But obviously, you know, this is coming back from the past. Now, the charges were filed over the summer, so I think, um, you know, that's something that you got to keep an eye on. You know, how long are these out there? But, you know, the fact that they're public really isn't good news for the Predators. And I'm sure the Preds knew about it whenever they're filed, and but so the fact that it's public is it exactly the best look for the team, so, you know, we'll see what happens, uh, I, you know, let the legal system play out, but, you know, it's just like, Jesus, you knew it was going to happen at some point with this guy, so, don't say I didn't warn you, anyway, that's like sort of the power play with CJ on our charges being filed against Mike Rivera for assaulting his nanny when he was in Dallas with the Stars, the two from episode to the season and beyond, later guys.